Hey guys, and welcome. I'm so childish. And welcome and welcome back to my channel. As you can see by the title, I am finally, finally doing my video on the Pat McGrath Foundation system. I finally got it in the mail after waiting 40 days and 40 nights for my order to come. Um, So just, just let's get through the intro. Let's just get right into it. I need to invest in a hot comb this side of my wig. Does not want to stay down. But anyway, so I purchased, like I said, the whole um sublime perfection system which comes with the powder the primer and the foundation so I, I don't know how much each one costs individually i just know the entire system here is 150 and then if you get the brushes i think it's like two something but i'll have the individual prices and i'll actually remember to have the individual prices pop up as i talk about each thing um i've already tried the whole system so i already have my thoughts i'm just trying it on camera now for the first time um for the first time for you guys. You guys know what I'm trying to say. Um, this is the, this is the Skin Finish Sublime Perfection Primer Base Perfection. You get one fluid ounce in this. It says smooth, hydrates, and prep skin for a soft focus blurred effect. Runway tested, mother approved. Yes, Auntie Pat there, okay. This is what the actual primer looks like. I would say thoughts that I can give now on this primer. It has a scent to it. Y'all know I'm, I'm sensitive with scents there. Ignore my nail. Like a florally type scent, I guess you could say. Um, I already tested this out with the with this primer and the Fenty Truly Matte, I believe it's what it's called. It's their newest matte primer. I like it better with the matte primer, but again, for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna use Pat's primer but i just feel which i'll get into you know when i wrap it up at the end of the day i just feel like uh for my skin type it works better with that one but i'm gonna use this one this one was nice okay and this is different for me i'm actually gonna use the powder next this is the sublime perfection setting powder anything on here nope um this is just the setting powder in deep five when you buy the system i guess based on the foundation shade you pick it picks which shade is going to come with the system for you. So this is the deepest. Oh, it does have claims. Weightless, buildable, micro fine setting powder, runway tested, mother approved. Um, this is the shade, it would not be me if I just didn't drop something in a video, but this is the powder. It is a deep powder, like she's dark. Like this powder looks like it could be a powder foundation, like my own actual skin tone which is not a bad thing there. And I'm actually going to use this before foundation. Now you guys have seen the videos that I've done before where I tried the whole, you know, powder before foundation thing. And in the past I was like, you know, my face looking a little too matte. You know, she, she dried out a little bit, but that could be because at the time I was using more mattifying ish type products on my face. But this one I'm gonna use under the foundation just because I didn't really like it on top of the foundation. But under the foundation, I did find a powder combination that I do like, so I'm gonna show you guys in this video. I'm gonna use this Dose of Colors sponge, just kind of push it. You see how it legit could almost be like my own foundation shade? I'm gonna use this Dose of Colors sponge to push it into my face. And that's why I said I like the sponge because it's so flat like this. So if you do powder under foundation normally, this might, might be a nice sponge to have. And the last thing I have, I know I look a tad bit off right now, but the last thing I have is the foundation claims. Nope, nope, do we, nope. Buildable perfecting coverage, weightless texture, sublime satin finish runway test all right we get it um so i used sephora to pick my shade sephora said that i had an exact shade match in this foundation which is the shade deep 29 uh, this is supposed to be the exact sh um same shade as the nars shade that i wear so that's why i went ahead and got it um this is what it looks like it does come with a pump go ahead and do one pump for one side of my face it's a really watery foundation you see just sliding down my hand there um and i feel like you need like one pump for each side of your face i don't feel like one pump is going to cover your entire face so i am just going oh, damn it i forgot to put concealer on first again oh well I've already, i'm already here so does the foundation also have a scent 
does what is that scent yeah so y'all see why we kind of have to finesse this video a little bit today because usually what I'm doing these videos is just the foundation I'm showing off but because it's the whole system I have to use the whole system together and the whole system together is looking a little off here so you know we kind of have to maneuver this around here and work some things out. I'll see why we kind of have to finesse this video here usually my videos just consist of the foundation so I can just you know put it on and go but since I bought the whole system the video has to be you know on the whole system and when I tried it the first time I put the powder on on top of the foundation and the foundation itself wasn't that on off it was just you know when I put the powder on you know I got really red so now we have to put the powder under so I can go ahead and you know try to finesse the rest of my face but I will go ahead and insert a, a clip showing what the foundation looks like on my face without the powder so we can get you know the color match here okay so let me go ahead and set my concealer so when I first tried it and put the powder over the foundation I was like oh I look really red right now how do I fix this so I just tried adding another powder and found that the Too Faced Ethereal powder in translucent deep on top as like a all over color setting powder helped and it's it's a nice combination with you know the foundation and the pat powder so go ahead and do that and that's the best the finesse is going to get but I would say you know we did a decent job of canceling out some of the red there it is currently at 12 46 I'm going my day I'm a check-in gonna remind myself to include the clip of just the foundation on my face and then I'll see you guys back here later tonight okay so this is just the foundation swatched on one side of my face it's that sheer that it probably looks like I don't have foundation on at all right now but no this is the shade 29 yeah deep 29 on this side of my face now I was a little curious because for it was like it's your exact shade match but it has a golden undertone I don't know I just feel like the golden is throwing it off a little bit to me but I feel like you can tell a difference when it doesn't have that red powder uh, mixed in with it the weather is quite gloomy and I just want to take a nap but I can't do that because this foundation transfers and I would rather it not transfer all over my sheets I have a white bed and white grayish sheets this is what my face is looking like both sides of my face are technically set but for some reason it feels like this side of my face is less oily than the other side of my face but this is what it's looking like you know for the type of foundation that it is you know she's holding up decently in this weather it's already oh my bad i didn't tell you guys what time it is it is five in the afternoon um i'm kind of late but i'm gonna let it set my face for a couple more hours and then come back okay so i am back and it is now 7 43 this is my face is looking like Okay, uh, don't mind this under my eye here. I uploaded another video today and one of my subs was like, the link in the bio is not working. So I clicked on the link so I could, you know, see what they're seeing. And when I clicked on the link, I realized that I myself am on Savage X Fenty's website and your girl is a big old Aquarius crybaby and she got emotional. So I smudged my mascara there a bit, but you know what? I saved the tears, they didn't fall down my face. So, you know, cause I had to, I had to remind myself, you're still filming that Pat McGrath video. Don't, don't you start crying now. But but um, that's why it looks like this in that area under here. But yeah, this is what my face is looking like. So I'm just run down the three products. First, the primer. Like I said, it wasn't my first time trying any of these products. And from the first time I tried the primer, I was like, you know, she cute, but she ain't really doing much for my oily skin. Um, you know, I, as far as what I can say its pros are is that, you know, it'll give you a nice base and having a nice base is important when you're doing your makeup. Um, I believe it says, you know, like, what did it say? Blur. Um, smooths, hydrates, and preps skin. I definitely feel like it smooths. Um, hydrating, I wouldn't really say I felt anything hydrating about it, but definitely smooths and it'll give you that, like, blurred type of filter effect on your face. So I can say that about the primer. Oh, I did go back and get the prices. The primer individually is $60 onto the foundation 
foundation says buildable, perfecting coverage, weightless texture. This foundation, I've seen a lot of people saying it. Actually, I've seen some people saying that they were, you know, so disappointed that it wasn't like a full coverage foundation. And it just made me think, you know, like, have you seen any of the work that Pat McGrath has done? Like, what, what led you to believe that she would put out it? even like a medium coverage foundation, you know, and to think anything full coverage there, this is a sheer foundation, okay? Now remember, I've got the powder under my foundation, so you know, that kind of helps with the coverage there of the foundation, but the foundation itself is a sheer foundation, okay? It's that Glossier, you know, milk makeup type of uh, coverage there or aesthetic that those brands go for you know your skin but better like you just got to throw this on as like a tinted moisturizer type thing because you already have perfect skin going on that's what type of foundation that this is so the coverage is medium it's a we're just gonna try to get through that there it is a um, natural finish foundation if you have oily skin um, you know, it didn't, didn't make any claims to be a mattifying type product. And again, it's Pat McGrath, so you know, I wouldn't really expect any type of mattifying from this foundation. But, you know, I don't remember what time I left, around like noon-ish. So it's been like, what, 70 hours there for a foundation that does not claim to be mattifying. And, you know, it is what it is there. I feel like she held up. And, and the primer that I used as well, because you know the primer is it, not mattifying either. I feel like this held up decent throughout the day. I definitely felt like it did better when I used it on the Fenty True Matte. This, it definitely held up better on my face with this, cause I use the same exact powders, it's just, you know, I didn't use this today. Um, it definitely held up better on my face with this, and this is, you know, a more mattifying primer, and I have oily skin. Um, but this is how it held up as far as oil goes, you know, didn't move around my face or anything like that. And what I have been dealing with lately with all these complexion products, all these foundations I've been reviewing lately, this is what like the fourth one I've done in like two weeks or something like that, um, is the transfer. This one had the worst transfer that I've had so far out of all of them. It kills me to say that, but I did. This one gave me the worst transfer that I've had all out of all of them. I did remember to grab some tissue here, and if I just wanted to blot my face, this is what she's looking like there. However, once I blot my face, you know, the oil that she's giving us is giving us, it's actually giving us what I feel like, you know, Pat, what kind of like, cause I feel like if you look at her work, like, you know, it's kind of like that, you know, dewy glow from within. I know you guys are tired of hearing me saying it, but that's just the type of glow that it's giving. It's not giving, you know, like the grease fry fryer. Y'all know what I mean, type of greasy, oily type of look there. You know, she's still, she's giving us, you know, you got a little glow inside. But yeah, the transfer was the worst thing for me. It did have a little slight little, you know, scent to it. Nothing that strong. Actually, the primer had a scent too, but it was nothing that was that strong that I smelled it throughout the day. It was pretty, it's pretty much gone right after I put it on my face, but I do have sensitive skin, so I am... I, I pay attention when I do smell things in products because it usually doesn't end well for my skin there. Um, and the shade here, I feel like she's pretty spot on. Now, again, you know, we did have to do a little some something, something there <laughs> to make the powder work on my face, but altogether, you know, I feel like we did something there. How many shades did this come in? So this retails for $68 and comes in 36 shades. Originally, I was thinking I was gonna be like 32 somewhere. I told y'all, I just go to whatever it says it has neutral undertone and just work my way somewhere around there. But like I said, Sephora told me that I was an exact match with 29. I mean, Sephora might have done something there. Okay, I'll go ahead and insert a flash test right here. And the powder is the last thing that I have to talk about. Now, I don't like the shade of powder that I got, um, which kind of stinks because I feel like you probably could use the powder as a powder foundation because you see how it's stuck to the primer on my face when I put it on and it gave me that type of coverage there. It wasn't like, you know, normal translucent-y type powders. Um, it was just, it was just the, sh the, 
the undertone of the powder. The actual shade looked like it could be, you know, my own skin tone, but the undertone was just too red for me. And I bought the system, and I guess how it works is they pick the powder shade based on whatever foundation shade it is that you pick so i only got to pick the foundation shade and then you know they put the primer and whatever powder they feel you're supposed to be using so i kind of wish you had the option of choosing which powder it is that you wanted to use but how the powder looks on the face if besides the color and how it works on the face i feel like it's a good powder i like it in combo with the other powders that I have on my face but would I go through you know sending this back and getting another shade of powder to test out probably not not because I feel like there's anything wrong with this one but just because I feel like this is just a nice powder I feel like it's just a nice powder and I I am sitting on powders here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen seventeen just you know eyeballing what I've got going on over here I mean maybe that's that whole consumerism thing going through my mind right now like do you really even if you did exchange it for a different shade are you going to use it that much like it does do you feel like it's going to be that type of powder where you know you have to use it every day and that I, I don't I just feel like it's a nice powder and that is really it on how I feel about the system that I bought here honestly I feel like the only thing that I'm, I'm taking out of this like yes I can feel myself using this again I know I'm gonna use it again is really just the foundation like I said the powder the the primer was just okay and the uh powder is just okay as far as formula goes and the shade i just felt was a little too red for me you know i had to do other things to it so that i didn't end up looking like a tomato throughout the entire day um but i, I did like the foundation with that being said the foundation is less coverage than even i would typically do and you guys know that I am actually more on the medium coverage closer to sheer than I am full coverage type thing there but you know even for me it was just like oh you a sheer foundation which does not surprise me at all about Pat McGrath I'm pretty sure the whole thing is was it who was it I think it was maybe it was another influencer it was telling me like you know it was supposed to be like a type of foundation that's for you know like models and it, it does say like a runway tested and approved and stuff like that um, so I, it doesn't surprise me that, that that's what it is, but you know, I feel like for me, I would probably use it for, you know, those like no makeup makeup type of days where I'm just running somewhere or, you know, I just have to throw something on because, you know, you could probably use this foundation on its own there. Um, but now should you buy it, seeing how these things are the prices that they are? Now I get it. It's very expensive makeup very expensive it's not the most expensive foundation i've tried on my channel though i think at this point tom ford is still the most expensive that i've tried it somewhere around like 80 dollars, somewhere around there but it's an expensive foundation i'm pretty sure i've only tried like one or two other foundations that are around that price or more expensive than that um so i get it i get it my people are just like you know <laughs> For what it's giving me, for what you guys are showing in these videos, I don't know if it's worth it or anything like that. I think the products, if you do purchase them, are worth it. It's not like you're buying products that aren't good for that price. But I also feel like you'll live if you don't have these products, if that kind of makes sense. You know, it's like you're not missing out on anything, not to say that it is, it's, it's not good, but you know, it's, it's, it's not like oh my god everyone's rocking Pat McGrath and I can't do it so I have to feel some type of way it's not that type of product and I certainly feel like this is one of those you know like you save your points type of purchases those splurge type purchases where you know you're just like <laughs> you know it's my birthday I got some gift cards it's my graduation that type of stuff where you, or you're just like you know what I woke up today and I feel like dropping $68 on a foundation I feel like this well I mean that's that's really luxury beauty in general for me like I really gotta hype myself up like all right about to buy this $80 foundation but I feel like that's when you'll frequent these type of purchases more often unless you got it like that and if you do <laughs> more power to you so i hope finally seeing this on my face has helped if any of you were thinking of checking this out for yourself make sure to thumbs up comment and subscribe down below thank you all for watching i will see you in the next one bye i'm pretty sure i've sweat out of my lace yeah it's lifting over here it is hot y'all but that again should tell you that in this type of weather 
you know, she still held up decent for a foundation that's not mattified.